welcome to the mathematics in my channel today we are going to solve another interesting integral here this is the question lower limit 0 to pi cosine of eta g eta upper limit 0 to pi over 2 sine of theta over sine of theta plus cosine of theta d theta e square root of tan of x times the square root of 1 minus tan of x with respect to x okay first we should evaluate uh, lower limit and upper limit uh, we know this integral very easy integral and we can apply king's property so if we apply king's property we know this is equal to pi over 4 so i will skip this process because uh, video will be too long so we know upper limit this is equal to pi over 4 and lower limit we know cosine of eta integral of cosine of eta we know sine of eta 0 to pi so here this is equal to 0 so our integral becomes i is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 4 square root of tan of x times 1 minus tan of x dx okay now we can take a substitution so if we take the square root of tan of x the square root of tan of x is equal to t now uh, square both sides so tan of x is equal to t square now differentiate so secant square of x dx is equal to 2 times t t t okay now we can substitute here so now limit lower limit we know also 0 upper limit when x approaches to pi over 4 we know t approaches to 1 now square root of tan of x we know t times now square root of 1 minus now tan of x we know t square so here t square now dx dx is equal to 2 times t dt over secant square of x we know secant square of x is equal to 1 plus tan square of x so 1 plus t to the fourth power okay then we can write uh, this integral is equal to 0 to 1 2 times t square square root of 1 minus t square over 1 plus t to the fourth power t t okay now we can take a substitution again so if we take uh, t is equal to um, sine of theta so if we take t is equal to sine of theta now dt derivative of t t t is equal to cosine of theta d theta now we can plug in here so we can write this is equal to now limit when x approaches to 0 sorry t approaches to 0 theta also approaches to 0 when t approaches to 1 we know theta approaches to pi over 2 now 2 times t square we know sine square of theta here 1 minus t square we know 1 minus sine square of theta cosine square of theta square root of cosine of square of theta we know cosine of theta over 1 plus t to the fourth power so 1 plus sine to the fourth power of theta here dt we know cosine of theta d theta so here cosine square of theta d theta okay then how to evaluate this integral what can we do okay if we take this part so now I am going to take this part so if we take this part we know 2 times 
Uh, yeah, I'm going to take cosine square of theta and sorry. Uh, okay, I'm going to take the integral again. So here 0 to pi over 2 here 2 times cosine square of theta sine square of theta we know 1 minus cosine square of theta over 1 plus sine to the fourth power of theta d theta okay then um, here in the denominator we have 1 plus sine to the fourth power of theta so we can write here this is equal to 0 to pi over 2 now you can factoring out 1 plus sine to the fourth power of theta so I also script this process I think you can work out here so 1 plus sine to the fourth power of theta we can write uh, as a two factors so 1 minus i 1 minus i minus cosine square of theta 1 plus i minus cosine square of theta here t theta okay then now I am going to take this part now I am going to take this part so you can write 2 times cosine square of theta 1 minus cosine square of theta over 1 minus i minus cosine square of theta 1 plus i minus cosine square of theta and we can take now uh, substitution but this is not a u substitution remember that this is not a u substitution so if we take now cosine instead of cosine square of theta I'm going to take uh, t is equal to cosine square of theta so t is equal to cosine square of theta but this is not a u substitution okay now here we can write now this is equal to 2 times t 1 minus t over 1 minus i minus t uh, 1 plus i minus t okay now uh, here now you can find a partial fraction i also skip this process so if we found the if we find the partial fraction you know we know this is equal to minus 2 plus 1 minus i over 1 minus i minus cosine square of theta plus 1 plus i 1 plus i minus cosine square of theta okay now our integral i we can write now i is equal to here yeah, now 0 to pi over 2 now instead of cos uh, cosine square of theta we got t now um, we can write here yeah, uh, we plug in we plugged uh, uh, t so cosine square of theta so now we can write here yeah, this is equal to minus 2 plus 1 minus i over 1 minus i minus cosine square of theta plus 1 plus i 1 plus i minus cosine square of theta d theta okay here uh, in this step uh, i found partial fraction and also uh, i substituted uh, cosine square of theta instead of t okay if not here we will have uh, t co instead of cosine square of theta we will have t okay now our integral becomes uh, 
i is equal to 0 to 5 over 2 and here now 3 integrals okay then uh, these two uh, integrals we know here this is um, like same integrals uh, if we take the general case of this integrals uh, these two integrals so we can take 0 to pi over 2 uh, 1 minus i 1 minus i 1 plus i 1 plus i so here k over k minus cosine square of theta d theta okay now this is the general case and now I am going to uh, evaluate uh, this general integral so now I am going to um, divide this integral by sine square of theta so we can write 0 to pi over 2 k cos x square of theta over here k again cos x square of theta minus cot square of theta d theta okay then now we can write this is equal to 0 to pi over 2 here k cos x square of theta over now instead of cos x square of theta we can write 1 plus cot square of theta so here we can write k plus k cot square of theta minus cot square of theta d theta now 0 to pi over 2 k cos x square of theta over here now we can write this is equal to k plus k minus 1 cot square of theta d theta okay then um, um, how to evaluate this integral now again we can use a substitution so if we take y is equal to cot of theta so dy is equal to minus cos x square of theta d theta so now here we can plug in so now uh, limit we know infinity to 0 here k times cos x square of theta so cos x square of theta d theta we know minus dy so here we can write minus k dy over here k plus k minus 1 now cot square of theta we know y square okay now we know k and k uh, yeah here k is a constant and here if we can we can take k minus 1 as a common factor so we can write now k over k minus 1 now I change the boundary so 0 to infinity here dy over now y square plus k over k minus 1 ok then here k over k minus 1 now we know this is this integral uh, octane so 1 over a so square root of 1 over k square root of k minus 1 over square root of k octane of uh, x over a so y square root of k minus 1 over square root of k limit 0 to infinity ok now we know here uh, this term get cancelled also this term get cancelled so we will have k over k minus 1 and here if we plug in 0 to infinity here so we know pi over 2 ok now here this is the general uh, answer for 0 to pi over 2 k minus k cosine square of theta so now if we take our integral i 
so i is equal to uh, we know yeah sorry here minus 2 d theta so minus 2 is a common factor so we can take outside of the integral sign and here d theta we know theta 0 to 5 over 2 so 5 over 2 so 2 get cancelled and here the answer is minus pi so minus pi and then sorry here this integral so we know the answer here k over k minus 1 so now k is equal to for this integral 1 minus i so we can write here this is equal to plus 5 over 2 times the square root of 1 minus i over minus i plus for next integral pi over 2 pi over 2 uh, the square root of 1 plus i over i okay then we can take pi over 2 as a common factor so pi over 2 and here uh, now if we multiply by minus i both the numerator and denominator here minus i square so i square we know minus 1 minus minus so plus 1 here we know i minus i square so i plus 1 and here we can plug in again sorry we can multiply by i so here i square so we know in the denominator minus 1 and here i plus i square so i minus 1 we can multiply by minus sign so here 1 minus i okay now also we can simplify this term so if we take if we take uh, i plus 1 square root of i plus 1 plus 1 minus i all square so now we can write here square root of i plus 1 square so i plus 1 here plus 1 minus i plus 2 times uh, here now 1 plus i 1 minus i so 1 minus i square now i get cancelled here 1 plus 1 we know 2 plus 2 i square minus 1 so here also 2 2 plus 2 times square root of 2 now we need to only i plus square root of i plus 1 plus i minus 1 so we can take square root both side so here we know now we will have minus pi plus pi over 2 here this is square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 2 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching